crazy day it has been. Uh, this came from Nazareth, and boy, the city is in a bit of an uproar this evening. Uh, sorry, my name is Thaddeus. It's wonderful to have you here. Thank you for coming to visit. I uh, I just came from from uh, Nazareth today from from the synagogue and and the and the city itself, and it's been it has been just a crazy day. Jesus had come back to visit. I don't know if you remember remember him from growing up. Um, you know, he, he was been here and helping us out with things. And he came to visit, and everyone was excited to see him because, you know, we've been hearing rumors of these great things that he's been doing elsewhere in the land of Israel. And, you know, he came to the, came to the synagogue, and, the, and the, you know, the, the leaders of the synagogue pulled the scroll down for, for the readings and pulled Isaiah down and handed it to him. And, and Jesus unrolled the scroll and, you know, accepted it and was going to, going to read. And everybody was sitting in a hushed voice just watching, right? Because here's Jesus, the, the man we've grown up with. Um, ready to, to, to read Isaiah, and he gets to a section and talks about, about the Messiah, right? He talks about the setting the captives free in the year of, year of joyful rejoicing, and he crawls up the scroll after reading the section and hands it back and sits down, and everybody, I mean, you can hear a pin drop inside that, inside that synagogue, everybody's just listening intently on what he's going to say, and he says, I tell you that this prophecy is fulfilled today. The confusion that came, right? Because here is here is Jesus talking about being the Messiah, and this is we know Jesus. You know, this is Jesus, the the friend that we played with in the in the marketplace, that we sang sang songs with, right? That we that we ran around and you know visited all the people. This is the Jesus that you know, as a teenager, you know, helped us gather all the sheep after after Ebenezer let them all out. Uh, poor Ezekiel, you know, was was in fits, and there we are rounding up the sheep to bring them back into the pen to to help him get his sheep back on. And together, and, you know, this is the the Jesus that you know spent hours helping poor widow Rachel trying to put that addition on her house, you know, and all the trouble she had with that, you know. And here he is working, working, you know, in the evening just like this, uh, you know, sweating and and, and 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 laboring to help. You know, so we know this this man Jesus, we know him, right? We this is the a brother, our cousin, our friend. This is a man that we have watched grow up, and here he is saying he's the Messiah. And what a uh, interesting thing, right? We know this is the son of Joseph. We know this. We know Joseph. We know Mary, the carpenter. Everybody knows Joseph, and you know knew, knew Joseph. And boy, what you know, what a thing to see that. And so as he sat there, and everybody's kind of wondering what he's trying to say. Is he's the Messiah, right? Like this is this is Jesus. We know him. You know, he, he he continues, and he says, you know, you'll say to me, physician, heal yourself, right? And looking for a miracle, right? And that's what we were. We were looking for a miracle. We we're looking to see healings because this is. You know, people say he can do this elsewhere. Let's see him do it here with us. We need the help too, you know. Uh, but but he's, he follows that with a couple of stories. And he says, you know, there were, there were many, many widows in the land of Israel during the time of Elijah, the prophet. But, he, but Elijah wasn't sent to those widows. He was sent to the widow of Zarephath. And, and a lot of people kind of started mumbling and ruffling in their seats. They weren't very happy with that implication, right? That, that, that this, this Gentile woman should handle, should be given, you know, priority over the, us Israelites, us Nazareth, you know, people from Nazareth. We are the, we are, we are Christ's family, you know, the people he grew up with. And here he is saying that he may have been sent somewhere else. And he follows that up with, with the story of, of, the, of, the, of lepers being, you know, many lepers in the land, but there's only one that comes down and is healed by Elisha, you know, and, and that man is not from Israel. And boy, what a, what an anger that sparked in people that there was this implication that, that this man that we knew, this man who had, had laughed and bled and cried with us, had sweated with us, that we'd worked with, that we'd, we had seen, you know, stub his toe and hammer his thumb. We'd, we'd seen these things. And, and you know, this is, this is the man we worked with that we had spent time with, and he's, he's saying he's the Messiah. I mean, it was I mean, tough to hear that, right? I mean, this is, I mean, think about this if it was your family, you know, if it was my brother that was saying this or my friend that was saying this, you know, I know what my friend had gotten into, and you know I don't know if I can remember Christ getting into trouble, but if it was my brother, boy, <laughs> there's no way my brother was the Messiah. No, 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 sir. Uh, boy, what trouble! But you know this is this is where this is where our memory goes, right? Where we think back to these things that we know this man. How could he be telling us these things, and how can we be willing to listen to this man criticize us in our in our life? So what did the people do? Well, they got angry. They they grabbed Jesus and they carried him from the synagogue and they, they carried him to the hill to throw him down the hill and throw him out of the city. And 
and boy, was that, I, you were, I was dumbfounded to see this. This is Jesus. Mary's there. You know, this is his mother's there with us, and, and, and his family's there, and we're, we're there. It's anger that they throw him out. And it just makes me think, you know, the, the pride that we have, that, that all this, we're going to throw this man out, throw him out of the city, and he walked away. He disappeared. No one knows where he went. And what a, what a miracle that is, right? How can we not see the, the Messiah in this man for the things that he is doing, for the words that we are hearing, for the, the lessons that he is teaching, and yet we're so caught up with the pride that we have of, who, of knowing who we are and knowing our background and knowing him, at least we think we know him, and knowing what we think about him, we know about him, and not being able to hear the lessons that he teaches. And what a, what a powerful reminder for us, for you, for me, to, to hear, to listen to the words, even if we think we know but to listen to the words, the words of Scripture, just like, like Jesus read in the synagogue today, and the words from our teachers, just like Jesus was teaching today. What a, what a wonderful lesson. Well, I, must, I must rest. It's been a crazy day. Thank you so much for coming, and I appreciate your time.